Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today we're looking at Rey and Dio from The Rise of Skywalker. This is one of my favourites of the line so far. This is an outstanding figure, um, the greatest Rey we've had so far. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping they go back and revisit some of the old ones, even though I've done it sort of upgraded my Jakku Rey as well. So, um, But this is by far... This is incredible. It looks, it just looks fantastic. Accessories are great. It's, it's got to be everything. It's, it's just a really nice figure. I'm really excited about this one. Um, and uh, yeah, there aren't many from this wave that were bad. So we'll go and give it a 360. I'll just get a look. I've just got it posed up at the moment. So blue lightsaber reforged. You can see Dio down the bottom there. We'll pick him up and have a closer look shortly. Yeah, just a really, really nice looking figure. Obviously, accessory-wise, she does come with her lightsaber. Uh, the blade does remove from the hilt. We'll get a close look at that. You can sort of see where it's been joined up. And she's just simplified it a little bit. Um, make it a little bit easier to grip without that big bulky, bulky section on the side. A little bit smaller. Obviously, fits her her grip a little bit better and yeah it still still holds true to the uh, Skywalker blade it also comes with the satchel which does sit nicely over one of her shoulders depending which way you put it I think it's meant to be over I think it's meant to be over that way I think <laughs> I can't remember I took it off because I didn't really I like it but I don't like the figure with it on so I decided to remove it, but it's a pretty nice piece. Looks good. She also comes with her staff. Now there's something a little bit different about this one. Um, for some for some reason they've decided they need to change it. Um, interestingly, what we get here is removable peg and removable peg. <laughs> and I've just thrown that away. So, we get this part completely separated. Why is that? There's got to be a reason why Hasbro has included this with the figure. Now, I'm just going to quickly grab the other piece. And what we have here is the central part of our staff with two peg holes in the end. Is this a, is this a little Easter egg? Because, uh, yeah, Hasbro hasn't done this before, and they could have just put her old stuff in with the pack as well, and it would have been fine. Um, keeping in mind that we did get a hook on the Luke Skywalker from The Force Awakens, um, and he didn't have a lightsaber to hang off it, so <laughs> this could just be one of those things. Um, we'll see. Next thing, we'll have a look at Dio. We'll get a nice closer look. Here's the little guy. Pretty sweet looking droid. His little antenna on the back there move around. There we go. Now there is a magnet somewhere in the wheel because in the pack you some people I wouldn't be surprised if anyone missed it, but it comes with this tiny little display stand which does magnetize somewhere on that wheel, which does spin, um, so you can stand it up. But uh, yeah, I've just used blue tack, that's what I use for everything uh, on the shelf, keep figures standing, and that's working fine, but it's the option there. I uh, I nearly missed it in the packet when I pulled Dio out. I thought, what's that extra little bit of plastic? So, so articulation-wise, he just has that moving wheel, uh, the antenna, and his head moves around in a few different directions, a little bit. So he's a pretty cool piece. The blue tech does work better because he does have a little bit little bit top heavy. Uh, let's zoom out here. 
All right, let's get a good look at Ray. So we'll go straight to photo reel paint apps on her face, which is just absolutely outstanding. It's really, really well done. Um, just yeah. One of the best, one of the best uses of the uh, photo reel paint app so far from Hasbro. It's just absolutely fantastic. Now I really like the outfit. Um, it is obviously a different spin on the existing outfits we've seen her wear in the first two films. Um, this time she hasn't got the full length arm wraps. does have the uh, strap around the arm here protecting that cut, that wound she got from the Praetorian Guards in The Last Jedi. She's still carrying her, her blaster from Han Solo. So she's got her weapon from Han and her weapon from Luke. I wonder if Rey will give her anything. Ah, uh, Leia, sorry. <laughs> uh, the hood, that's sculpted on, on her back. Looks pretty good. Uh, the SH Figure Arts figure is getting a version where you can put the hood up as well. So you can mix that up with the SH Figure Arts version. But not entirely necessary, but a cool feature. But happy with the way it is on this figure. Hairstyle slightly reminiscent of her Force Awakens look with a little bit of different. Um, just it, it is just a classic Ray look. Um, it looks really nice. I do like the more the more white to her outfit. Um, I think that's a good look. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to peg her lightsaber when you untake the blade out. There's nowhere to there's nowhere to hang that on her belt or anything. So. And then, pretty simple boots down the bottom. So in terms of articulation, she has a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, uh, ball hinge wrists, torso joint, uh, th hip joint, thigh joints, uh, double joints in the knees, ball hinged in the ankles, and I'm not sure if I mentioned the torso joint there, but there is that torso joint. So an awesome addition to the Black Series line. Um, I'm hoping this isn't the last ray we get. I hope we get that dark side ray. <laughs> that would look sweet. That'd be a great figure. Um, no doubt it will happen at some point. But that is number 91 from the Black Series. We're getting close to 100. Next up, we'll be looking at 93, which will be Cal Kestis from Jedi Fallen Order. Thank you for joining me. Leave any comments down below. That'd be greatly appreciated. And until next time, may the Force be with you.